viewers welcome to my youtube channel emiriki stitches i'm a member of my film you can follow us on instagram emiriki stitches on facebook emiriki stitches please don't fail to subscribe and don't fail to click on the notification bell for notifications so that you'll be notified anytime new video comes up so today i'm going to illustrate on a pencil dress like what you've seen there on the thumbnail with a bishop sleeve and um, but the bishop sleeve will not be that puffy all what is required is your half inch elastic and then you have your the fabric this is a three yard fabric so the picture there as you can see it has the upper bodies and the lower bodies as well so i'm going to start first by cutting the down part that's the down part then the upper bodies the uh, down um, and this is the measurements required the shoulder the full length the half length the bust line that's the under bust itself then the bust the hips line hips back length shape sleeve and the round sleeve so we're going to set to work now start by folding the fabric this is the three yards of fabric like i said um, you followed my video on how to make a pencil and um, a pencil skirt straight skirt that's what we're going to use now as we're going to start with the down part like i said and my skirt i'll fold the front bodies first so with what we have here for the down part is going to be a dress but the dress will have a cut at the tummy part okay so this is it I have a cut at the half length. Now we are going to fold it like um, what we had here. The full length is um, sorry, the full length is um, 37. Now 37, if you subtract 15, we're going to off 15 out. Take out 15. It's one hour 47. 15 then we mark the 37 see where the 37 stops here I need to mark my 37 so I'll mark 37 I'll still mark 37 So that's it. Then I'm going to add two inches allowance for bending or folding when you turn it to lining. I'm going to inch seam allowance. Two inches. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now my um, the hips here is um, thirty nine, so I'm going to add only two inches since this is for the front bodies, two inches allowance. So I'm going to mark out the shape here is twenty seven. I'm going to mark out the shape and the hips. The hips here is thirty seven, thirty nine. Sorry, and thirty nine divided by four, we have nine and a half quarter. So I'm going to shift it, shift the fabric out, shift it out. Mm -hmm. Fold it, make your folding using the hips because it's the wider this thing. So this is my 39 and a half quarter from here to here to accommodate the two inches, to take up to the two inches. So what I'm going to do, this is our turn. Instead of taking this, I would prefer this to be my down part while here will be my upper body. So I'll just place my tape to mark out the the this thing. What is it called? The shape. So the shape here is 27. 27 divided by 4. We have 6 and a half quarter. As 20, 22, 24, 26. 27 is 6 and a half quarter. So I'll mark it here. 
then with my two inches seam allowance here you can also use this method for your now we had denote a um, hip line here so i'm going to push out my 15 to take my hip line which is 25 that's what we measured and so this is for the hip line and on the hip line that's where we we'll have our hips like i said the hips is 20, um, 39 39 divided by 4 we have nine and a half water in which this is it you mark it out here then I add my two inches seam allowance. Then for the hem, since it's going to be pencil, we subtract two from the 39. We have 37. Now 37 divided by 4, we have 9 quarter. This is it. Then we add two inches for seam allowance. Then we are going to connect the line using your hip scarf from year to year. We'll make it straight first. Then I'll use my hip scarf here to curve the line. Then I'll now take it from here straight. You connect this is what you have you now have your pencil skirt pencil this thing that's for the down you can use this to form your pencil skirt too your straight skirt then you insert your dart that's all but for this this is gone so we're going to cut this out this only for the front bodies You now use this front bodies to bring out your back but the back bodies we're going to add um, an allowance of four inches instead of the two like what happened in the front we're going to add uh, additional allowance because of the um, contouring effect behind so we're going to add up to four inches with, and also the zipper allowance so I will now fold it. Now place this on top of it. This has a carries already additional allowance of two inches. So what I just need to add is just three. That's the add the two inches plus one. How it's going to be. Use my scissors to hold it down. Okay. All you're having here is two half. That's Two half. We're going to take out the one half for zipper allowance and the turning. So I'm keeping one half in here. Please make sure you draw it out too, so that you know where this way starts and where it stops. I'm using one half for the zipper allowance and turning. So that's how it was going to be. 
you can see we already had two inches here so if you check the the height here is 39 then i'm checking this, this is 39 and if you check we have additional allowance of three inches three inches so or three quarter already so that will be enough but if you still need this you can push yours to up to four inches we're putting this allowance some people put only one year for the zipper allowance i decided to put two they were putting because of the contour effect like i said so that the skirt won't have a lift behind it will relax very well and gives it, give the person fittings behind so what you're going to do is that we have what we call some people call we call it contouring but in sewing but you can always call it you can call it also knocking so getting the back now from the back length the back length here was um back length here is um 14 half so i'm taking 14 half here we'll mark out where our contouring is going to start from so it's going to start from 24 one inch on top of the hips line so we are going to drag it on that 24 you take it slantly the down part here you come in by two half oh sorry by three the down part you come in by three so what i'm going to do is just to take it slantly here So you can decide to cut yours out so it won't be too big when you're doing your open slits or your overlap you can decide also to sew it without cutting it out see it meets at the three inches you can decide to allow it just hold it like that with the clean sheet you turn it properly with your lining let me just cut it out so you understand what i mean this enables the skirts or the dress to sit well giving the client fittings this for the zipper we can't insert that yet because i use my upper bodies to determine determine the the that because if I decide to, now I'm going to cut it out a little bit. I won't take it up to that place I told you. The reason because I'm turning it with lining. So when I'm folding the thing, it won't be too big. But I will still sew it. When I'm sewing, I will still have to. When I'm folding, still have to. This way the zip will stop. My zip will stop. this in order of my previous video this is where your zip will stop you put your zipper here and stop the while here will come in when you take your shape and everything it will still fit in on the clients very well without the back of the skirt lifting that's to minimize the lift and give the this thing fitting so we are done with the down bodies now we are going to take up the uh, upper bodies and the upper bodies as you can see is a recess dress cut princess dress cut some of us knows how to do it some does not but if you do not know this is an opportunity for you to use in learning princess breast cut so i'm going to put the fabric on full too now using the big girls part of the bodies which is what the boss the boss here sorry the boss here is 34 i'm going to use 34 34 then i will add allowance of four inches so 34 here divided by four is um, eight half so placing on eight half which is here then four inches 
already is more than four so i'm going to still shift it out so i'll take the eight half then the four inches i'll still shift it in because it's still not enough eight half here then four inches I think we'll use this so that is it that's how your folding will be eight half then four inches as the boy the, uh, the um, bust and then allowance or the bust uh, allowance and you see the reason why we're putting up to four inches we're going to start the cutting now So this is my princess buster cut, princess breast cut. Now from shoulder to half length here, we have 15. Half length here is 15. I'm going to mark it to out. It's 15. 15. I'm going to put one inch for the seam allowance, making it 16. Mm -hmm. Now I'm marking out the shoulder. This way it will stop. So I'm marking out my shoulder. The shoulder here is um 14 which is 14 divided by 2 we have 7 now i'm going to add one inch on the shoulder the same allowance for allowance of the shoulder now i'm marking out the arm o ham o here i'm using eight thirty four divided by four we have eight half, but I'm going to use eight. That's for the arm hole. I'll take it up here by two, by three. Then use my use my cuff, hips cuff, to round it. I'll mark out my bust bust um under bust 12 inches otherwise called bust line under bust 12 inches it might be 12 inches under bust is 12 that's from shoulder to under bust is 12 then now the bust line itself, which is from shoulder to the bust nipple, where you have your nipple, I'm going to subtract three to have that, which is what? Nine, 12 minus three, I have nine. So I'm going to mark up three, three inches. You can as well put your tape on the shoulder to mark out the nine. It's still the same thing. Then I'll mark on the bust line. I'll mark out the bust. Bust here is 34 divided by 4. We have 8 half. Then we have them. Um, we add 4 inches for the same allowance, like I said. Mm -hmm. Then on the shape line, the person didn't measure, take the measurement of the bust circumference. So on the shape line, I'm going to take down the shape which is 27 27 divided by 4 we have um, six and a half quarter 
then we still add additional allowance of four inches we connect the lines then i will now slant the shoulder by one inch loop the shoulder sorry by one inch we connect it to the neckline so i'll cut the first stick out first so that you can since i'm using blue chalk so that you can have a proper view of this how it will be i refuse to cut out this please because there's a reason i refuse to cut out the angle there's a reason now from her nipple to nipple is three half so i'm going to start you I'm, I'm going to use four that's three half that is seven nipple to nipple is seven seven divided by two we have three half so i'm going to use three half quarter instead of four sorry three half quarter three half Water here, yeah. take it down to form the princess that three half quarter. Then on this, divide my arm O into two, which was it was eight. So I'll still take the same three half quarter here yeah, to connect it. Now connect the lines to form my princess. The princess that is what we have for the princess that is the normal princess that so we are going to bring out the bust tear cut now after the princess that the bust tear cut i'm going to take half one year one half year instead of bringing half year and one year so i'm going to take both from both sides but you can it's your choice you can decide to take half year and one year but i'm taking one half from one side one half year connect it now to where we have the nipple the um the bust line connect it direct to where we have the bust line which is here as you can see so it now forms an angle here then i'll take same i'll take one half here down here too around the breast now to the under bust and from the under bust i'll now drop it down to where i i, I have the one half and this is how it will look like so we now have the one-sided breast now i'll extend this arm o by one by two inches sorry can extend by one half if no on cutting you will notice that after joining it will be smaller than the upper side so so mix so you now have effect when you are putting your sleeve extend the arm o by one half the one that carries the breast cup so i'll now slope it So that's why I didn't cut this place out. I would have cut the arm O. So see it, see the way it is. So I'll still bring out, take out half here in this other side. Don't forget, I put up to three. I took up to three and a half. Cut. I'll take up what half here. So around the post here too. To take it to the half. I'm going to cut now. This will save as the center front while this will be the side, side breast cut. I'm going to cut it out now. You can see the side breast now. So I'm going to cut the center front out too. So if you are taking the dart in the down part, why I refuse taking the dart is that until I finish the upper body so that the dart will meet. If you are taking the dart on the upper and uh, down part, the, the first one I did, you would have seen that here would be smaller than what we thought. 
like now on cutting finish and see what we have is less than what we would have taken so that's why i said you have to cut and prepare your upper bodies first before so that the dirt will meet you won't have separate that this one here and this other one here so this is for the center and this is for the side i'm yet to slope the shoulder i'm sloping it now i'll take out uh, uh, the neckline the neckline as you see there it is a shallow v neck very very shallow it's not that wide so what i'm going to do is that i'll take two half here for the up for the neck width two half then seven inches for the neck depth now now connect it and also use your ruler to connect this so it will be very very straight okay we now have our vinic here we have here for the side sorry for this side and here for the side on joining it you see the breast pop of up don't fail to use your um warden or your um, your warden and you can use your breast cup your ready made breast cup to to after joining to fix on it when you join this part is how it will be the breast will now kick off but this is for the princess breast cut now we are going to cut the back bodies as the last part of this cutting this is the back part the back part you can return it now to your normal to two inches you don't need the four four inches the four inches was for all those so that we can remove all those cuts i told you those places we cut out that you now have as you all those steps after cutting it out you see it will return to the fabric will return to two inches for the zipper allowance since you're doing freehand method and you're not doing on the pattern to transfer now i'm going to put two two one one half out uh, one half for my zipper allowance as usual then i'll place my tape to confirm the highest measurement there is just um, the bust, which is what eight half, and I'll check with my allowance if it will accommodate. It's even up to four, so I'll take two inches for my allowance. I might decide to take two half. Um, set to work. I'll cut it out so that I can allow my fabric to remain. From the sixteen. Let me just take the air out. So the fabric is now relaxed. Mm. All right. So, I said 16. That's 15 with it allowance. 16. With a missing allowance, sorry. 16. 16. Now we, I'll take, mark out the zipper allowance here. First was the full length, and this is for the zipper allowance, one half. Now take the shoulder like what I did for the front bodies seven fourteen divided by three seven in this behind I'm not putting any allowance extension again so I'll just take the direct stuff which is what 
the 7 14 then the arm will eight i'll connect it and the back bodies will just maintain the normal um this thing um princess that instead this i'm using normal princess that no boss there for, for the back okay on this line i'll just mark out my um, bust here which is what 34 with the two inches allowance or two half depending is your choice but i i used to have then shape here 27 which is six and a half quarter then with the same two half inches i'll connect it slope my shoulder by one inch like i said please don't forget to do that then i'll divide the arm o I took three and a half quarter for the front bodies. I'm taking same here. Then the behind now, since it was, I'm taking three, three half. The nipple to nipple was three half and seven inches divided by two. We have three half, three half, three half, three half. So I'm going to still here too, three half. I'm connecting it now. We now have our princess that then the neck for the neckline in the front i used two half so i'm still maintaining the two half the back the down part will just be one there's a neck depth one and the neck this thing width is two half as you've seen on the picture there I'm going to cut it out now. Done with the back bodies as well. Open up my zipper allowance and then I'll cut the princess that now. This is for my back bodies and for my front bodies. So for the bishop sleeve, I'm still going to illustrate that. Do I have done that already in my previous video? that we i showed you how to make the ganza top with that bell sleeve also when i did overlap this thing blouse i still worked on that too it was still the same sleeve puff sleeve bishop sleeve so you taking it in a bias pattern like this like what you've seen in our own is not that big i won't take it that big I will now take the length. Like our own here is just is not too long. It's just 18 sleeve length, sleeve yet 18. So I'll take the length the way to accommodate. This is only for the front. When I'm done with the front, I'll place it. There is for one side, sorry. I'll now place it to bring out the second one. Oh what I have to do. On dragging it, I can take up to 20 something. It's my choice. On dragging it, the puff will come up. I don't want it too big. So around it here, twenty feet. Please make sure you follow the this thing here, the ankle here to round your down part. On this, I will just place my tape. What I needed was what? 18. I'll take up to 20, depending on everything. So I'll just place my tape with 2 inches, making it 20 or maybe 22, 23.
can pull the two shots after the this how it will be. I'm going to place these two. This is what I told you. See, the down is now too long. I'm going to place this on another fold, then place it to bring out the second part of it. 23. That's what we have. 123. That's all you have for your sleeve. You're going to use your lining to bring them out. And this is the half inch elastic you're going to use to insert to have that same look of that sleeve you had. The down, the down part and the up the bodies you can bring it out in line. You will bring it, it's not you can you will bring it out in the lining and then join and go to have that look you have you've seen on the thumbnail. That's how to cut those this thing. Thank you very much. Hope you learned something.